Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Wait. Wait. When I have the Von Niburis Divine Helm on, so does Riju's spirit. That's odd and cool, but is it functional? Does it do something extra? It doesn't seem to. Does it cool down? No? How? Oh, oh, okay. Okay. I think if I get up to that one, that one, that I can get up the rest of the way if I have a plane. I might be crazy, but I think I can make that work. Maybe even a rocket. And that's, I think, what I'm going to try. No, it, yeah, I can, if I can get up, this is a good view here. If I can get up to that, then I can get up to that. That's, that's doable. That's a goal. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Hey, guys and gals. I'm Pal. And welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Before I go into the depths, which is my plan currently in this recording session... Uh, there is a side quest. Let's see. To the ruins? Is that what it is? It's this one. Yeah. To the ruins. Pocky wants to investigate some ruins where huge statues face each other. However, she lost the map that showed the location of the ruins, so she's in a tough spot. Well, lucky for her, I have a map. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how I didn't die there. Uh, we're... <laughs> We're just gonna play that off like that was intended. <laughs> Hello, Pocky. Sava. Sava. Hey, you. You look like you've done your fair sh share of exploring. Have you ever seen massive ruins with huge statues facing each other? It'd be in the eastern part of the desert, I think. I lost my map, so I don't know exactly where they are. Does that sound familiar? If you know what I'm talking about, I'd appreciate it if you could take me there on a s uh, sleigh seal. Exploration expenses are paid in advance, so I'd obviously reward you if you helped me. Eh? Sark, in that case, I'll wait for you right here. Come talk to me once you've got the sleigh seal ready to go. Um, A sleigh seal. I on can only assume that is something I can acquire here. But before I go into there, have I gone in there before? You have butter? I kind of need my butter. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. <laughs> man, <laughs> where were you when I needed you? <laughs> Last I saw, she was near the east gate. That means she probably hasn't been able to find the map. I like the yellow on your clothes. Also, the the sand seals on your clothes. That's funny. Oh, I'm sorry. Vasak! This is my sand seal rental shop. You can rent a sand seal from me here. They clap sometimes. Sand seals can breeze through the desert with ease and are an essential way to get around. And all of my trained ones have been cooped up in the shelter for a while. So they're full of energy and raring to go. I would like a... 50 rupee one rent one please uh. that one <laughs> oh all right then i hope you and your little sand seal have an amazing trip you'll depart through the east gate which is the gate right behind me i don't know why i didn't say that gate why is this taking so long i thought the game crashed there for a moment hello get over here what do you mean oh actually no that was quite a wait I see you've prepared the seal. Get on now, or I'll kill you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Slay seal. All right. Huzzah! We're we're huzzahing. Look at us huzzah. I don't remember where I'm going. Uh, I'm going there. Yeah, this will be fine. 
This is fine. We can get there in no time flat. With my <laughs> ramping off of hydromelons and my splash fruit, which I found. Oh. You know what? Hold the phone, hold the phone, hold the phone. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Maybe we can do both. Maybe we can do both. Ah this, come on, turn, turn, okay. Stop. No, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Yeah, we can do both, maybe. Oh. Please die. That's not good. Let's kill them quickly. Dazzle fruit. Get some CC going. Come on. That kind of worked. These guys are tough. Come on. Hit me. Really? This lame attack. Well, unfortunately for you, I have weapon. Oh, I dodged him, didn't get the flurry. Hit me. Oh, that... Didn't expect that, come on. Yep, there you go, there you go. Yep. Hacky sack him. Oh, I missed. That worked. Good job, Riju. I know, I knew I could depend on you. Look at her go. She's so good. She's great. Okay, Riju. Oh, I was gonna give you the honors. Oh, sorry. Got some arrows, don't need the bow. Okay, what were we doing? Fangs, a boko shield, which I don't need, I cannot hold. A stick, a long stick? It has more power than a normal stick. That's just, that get, excites me. Hi, where, where do you go? Where is your place? Okay, the weed's over there. I will run full tilt towards the weed. Yeah, yeah, you guys are gonna be like right up and close and personal. There you go. That's perhaps a little bit too close, but uh, yeah, we can work. Got him. Thank you for the seeds. Now enjoy your weed. I thought it despawned my woman for a moment. She's gonna turn around. You're fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my word. The turn radius on this seal leaves a lot to be desired. What is this, a Chevy seal? Okay. Back on pace. Hey. Get out of here. We're fine. We're okay. We're almost there. We're there! It's a miracle! Let's figure out what this place is actually for. What? 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 Why we're back? Wait, what? What? What do you mean? We were there. What do you mean? Get on the thing. Those bones are massive. Yeah. It's cool that she has little bits of dialogue for wherever we're going. A bone tunnel? That's called a rib cage, ma'am. Um, I hope you don't call your own torso a bone tunnel. That's really weird. I wouldn't, I would not do that. Man, the lack of education these days. Oh, steer. Hey, stop here! You mean stop in the place we stopped last time that you didn't have a- that you had a problem with? Hey, look at that! It is a statue of a- a woman. A very large woman. And they're broken. This is insane. Now that I'm here, I can really start my investigation. Oh, and of course I have to reward you for your help. Here's a silver rupee. It's either that or a hydromelon. 
<laughs> it's the currency of the realm. I can tell right away that this place would be worth a really thorough look. I've got my work cut out for me. It's really interesting. Rotana said there were supposed to be ruins of the seven heroines here. So where have the other two gone? Okay. You're just gonna chill here? Do you have more for me? Uh-huh. Yeah, it was amazing. T twice. Uh, yeah. Is that all you got? Are you done? Um. Okay, I guess we did the quest. Maybe she'll... Okay, I, I gotta know. Maybe more dialogue triggers when I go into the cave. If not, then we'll go on to the next quest. Okay, so now she's sleeping here. Maybe she has a quest. Hey, what? Uh, hey, it may look like I'm slacking off, but I'm not. Even we Gerudo get tired working in the desert. It's not exactly easy to move around in all the sand. The best way is to make it to make it bearable is a nice break every now and then. Okay, the quest, I guess, is done. On to the next thing. What happens when I give Patricia a splash fruit now? Okay. We get a trigger. Uh, wait. Why would we have... Oh, those are in the depths. Whoa, okay. Uh, very strange. Oh, uh, while I'm here, I'd like to highlight something. Do I have a weapon that I can highlight this on? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Ah. Is there a weapon in here I can show? Ah, oh, man. So, a commenter said something that absolutely blew my mind the other day. They said that if you fuse the plushies with weapons, not only do they give up attack power, because everything does, but the different color plushies, which you can find throughout Gerudo, I think there's one in Riju's room, I think it's red, they give different stats. Is that not wild to you? Yeah, there's a, there is a green one, a red one, and a blue one. And apparently they all give different stats, or uh, one of them does. That's, that's nuts. The, the detail, insane, insane. What? Hold the phone. I can't help but find stuff. I'm just trying to find a pot, but I found this. What is... What is this? A secret room? With rupees? Anything good, though? A green rupee? What about this one? A red rupee. And nothing to interact with. Weird. Very weird. Bora was asked by her mentor to decorate a weapon, but she was stumped by the specific request to make it sparkle and radiate burning passion. She's also unable to use monster parts in the task. Perhaps she would benefit from seeing a weapon to use as a reference. Volta! Volta! I mean, Savolta! That was close. If others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using oh. staying on duty. Okay, we talked to you before. Mm. What did you want? Decorate a weapon. Make it sparkle, radiating, burning passion. And no monster uh. parts. Uh, hold up. Uh. There... I think I know what she wants, but I'm going to try this first. Uh. What about this one? Yeah, look at, look at it. It's white. Hmm? 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 Hold on, give me a moment to study the weapon. Ooh. Take it back off. So if you attach a ruby like this, huh. that sparkle, and the weapon positively radiates with burning passion. Even I can make something like this, and it will d certainly pre- ple oh my word. Please, my mentor. Sark for showing me such an inspiring decoration. Please, take this wing, and this other oh. wing. It's the material I would recommend for decorating weapons. It's... Is everywhere. All right then. You came. That I did, Isha. That I did. Vasak. Vasak. 
I'm always shocked when I speak with the others about you. It's a real uh, so uh, a, a surprise how incredible you are. Sarxo for not only helping Gerudo Town, but also helping me. If not for you, my people would have forever lost the knowledge of how to make the Arms of the Seven. They are a legendary sword and shield passed down among the Gerudo, wielded by a chosen individual. I am talking about the shield called Daybreaker, and a sword called the Scimitar of the Seven. <laughs> I have chosen you to carry the Arms of the Seven. Would you like- would you allow me to make these legendary items for you? I would. Huh? Okay then, let me make sure you have everything I need. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo scimitar, and a Gerudo shield. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you could do it. This is everything I need to get to work. Give me just a minute. Ma? I poured all of my heart into making these. Here, take them. They are true symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. The Scimitar of the Seven, a famous sword once beloved by the champion, Gerudo champion Urbosa. It is said that when Urbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. <laughs> I wish you good fortune in your travels. The shield was cherished by the Gerudo champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ensure a design that is both lightweight and very durable. Ah. You're the second person I've made these for. Lady Riju was the first. My ancestor even made them for the champion of the Gerudo some time ago. That really just goes to show how amazing they are. It don't make me happy if you take good care of them. Mm -hmm. But I did make them to be used, so don't feel like you need to preserve them. Should they ever be irretrievably lost, just bring me the materials again and I'll remake them for you. And also, you can come see me whenever you like, even if you don't need anything. <laughs> May the blessings of the Gerudo be upon you. Did she say ah. anything else? Today feels like it's shaping up to be another scorcher. Kara can help you find an accessory to deal with the blazing heat. She's inside the shop. She's still got a ways to go before she'd be ready to make something like the Arms of the Seven. Nevertheless, she's an exceptional artisan. You'll be happy with uh, she'll be you'll be happy with anything she sells you. <laughs> Just felt like saying hello. <laughs> Highly info say the cutest things sometimes. Well, I'm happy to see you too. Your Vasak anytime. I felt like that was a great way to cap off our adventures here in Gerudo. Getting the Arms of the Seven. We've completed really all the quests that we can in Gerudo, at least that I know of. Uh, there's some malarkey with a hidden map, but I'm not sure about that one. Uh, I, now, I, I think what we're going to do is go back to the depths. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> the Black Lazal Reaper, an 80 power weapon. The highest so far and well worth the diamonds. Give me some height and maybe some perspective as well. I know they're not gonna bring me up to the Sky Islands. The comments told me that uh, they will only, like, you can only go a maximum distance of one usage of recall. So I know this isn't going to do anything for me, but it's nice to get a look around. Right? Like, it, we get to see things. We get to see that. You know, our old friend, the Gliok, who is really not our friend. We get to see that, which is where uh, Vodnaburis once stood. You know, old sights and sounds. And smells and tastes. What is... Oh, that's the shrine. And the familiar old site of where I actually started today's recording, Above the Depths. <sighs> Here we go. It's, uh, gonna be weird going back into, into the depths. I hope the dragon doesn't come out of the depths as I'm going into it, because that would be very awkward. I'm I'm not scared of the depths because I really felt like we had it we had it sorted when we were last there. But it's an entirely different realm. Oh, oh, oh. It's just a different beast. <laughs> 